so it's kind of much of a replay here. Yeah, really, you know? sort of like a replay, just minus the diggy. The game is the same, but there are different players. We are entering game number two between NXPE and Blacklist International. Blacklist already secured game one in the dominant fashion, a 13k gold lead to finish it off, and right now they are in the cusp of securing oh, three this points. This is a Rome, Rome Paquito. Paquito. And, and a, a jungle, jungle saber. saber. So, okay, different role. Interesting. You know, we uh, again, when I said I want to see NXP bring something new to the table, maybe this is what we were hoping for. Yep, and Saber, one of those effective junglers that already secured a massive win against Blacklist International all the way from M3. Oh, Brenda J. <laughs> oh, Brenda no. J. Already going down here, the first blood, and it's also going to Wise, mind you. So already, look at Black International trying to get a position here to take this from Kazen, just like they did the previous game. Gets pushed out of the pit, but two taking quite a bit of damage, but actually responds well against the Queen. They're gonna get forced back out here. Red and Jay still trying to Wise buy some time, it. but dude gonna go down. He's quite low, gets pulled back, Ooh. and he does fall. Now Edward? Red and Jay being focused on Edward can't get the kill. He oh. falls here. It's gonna be a trade though. Edward is still alive. The flicker comes in from both members, and now oh, they take man. out Kazen. Black is national off to a great start here. One minute and 40 seconds into the game. Four and oh, similar to what? Prince Zuko told Sokka when Sokka told him that his girlfriend turned into the moon. That's rough, buddy. That is rough, That's you know. Rough. 4 That's 0. Not even two minutes in, Blacklist International is looking to start off great in this game. And Renna J says, Edward, you already got like four kills for your team. The least I could do is to delay your recall. Man, Agent Zero thinks the fact that he was able to get just right on the tip of that skill to take down Renna J. Renna J was on the way to getting out of there. Yeah. And Edward was about to fall, but then he got still got the flicker away. That was just insane by Blacklist International. But after all of that, NXPE is the one ending up with positional advantage in this turtle. They might actually be able to take this without a problem as Natalia Wise is still farming in the orange buff, so Blacklist decided to trade it out. Yeah, and now Kazen goes in. Pops Haji? the ultimate. Haji gets the cold alter, though. Edward now joining the party. Gonna force NXP back, but they trade the turtle. But at the same time, Kazen does give up his orange buff. Yeah, that is a somewhat of a good trade for the side of NXPE, considering that it's team gold. But then again, you're playing a saber. When you're playing a saber, you kind of want to get all of your stuff so you could snowball the hell out of this game. Yep. And he will be trying to secure this purple bus safely, but Wise sniffing out what's ever inside that bush. Yeah, Ren and Jay going in. The queen going to get focused on here, but Wise just around the corner. So far, Oh My Venus has to be careful, does be able to get out of that bad situation. So again, you know, we're seeing this. This is, I guess you could say, even though it's 4-0, and oh, NSPE isn't doing as bad as slipping further into the gap here. They just need to be careful, right? At the same time, again, you need to allow Kazen to get those buffs and then convert this Saber jungle pick into early kills. Oh! Slick moves coming in from Oheb. He knew that the jungler was there. If the BMI was a second late, that could have been a kill. Yeah. And this is the threat that Blackness are respecting. Of course, that Saber of course, uh, had a rough start, but one ultimate and the combination by NXPE can just burst them down. So surprisingly, too, I mean, you can already see the, the I would say, the value of having the Savior pick, right? Despite everything that's happened the past few minutes, he's already got quite a bit of damage. He's landing those Mystic Fields. The Dawning Light hurts quite a bit. So again, can they continue that on Ooh. here? Oh, is no. also quite low. Great pressure by Batut. Yeah, but, yeah. Dude, but he's gonna get crashed oh, down on here. Should be just fine, has that little Renegade. Jay. Falling Star Moon gonna go in here, all in the jungle, but two! Oh, man! Overstepping that a little bit as he falls here. Now two deaths on him, and the turtle comes up. Kazen looking for the queen. Can't get the kill, though. No trade coming in from NXPE. Still looking for that elusive first kill Donut. of the game. Donut might pay the price, but he's gonna be able to kite away. Now NXPE, they're defending the gold lane. Yeah, Black is international. Might just give this turtle a go, Kazen. 
he's not going to get uh, crashed down on here. As you see, they're going to go ahead and recall, try to get a position, but they might just trade this turtle up. But Toot might have a different idea, though. Oh my Venus gets the stun off, takes part of the Great damage too, goes into the backside, but falls here. Nice pickup for NXPE. There's the dawning light now. Oheb and Haji get zoned down by Renege. They're Cold trying Alter. to buy some time. And Cold Alter gonna be popped. Here comes Edward though. Ooh. A kill goes over to them as Renege falls. Turtle still gonna be worked on here. They Don't grab another one. Wise grabs the turtle. Oheb gets out of dodge, but another falls for Black International. Good trade all around. NXPE, they finally found out their first two kills of the game, but Renegade still struggling in this game. 0-3-0, but here comes the gold lane gang. Oh, but two was trying to get a position there. He knew the BMI was coming, not able to get it. And now Wise and Oh My Venus here making their way to the top along with Haji. I'm not sure if they're going to be able to commit something oh. here. Noodle Blast getting charged oh. up. Finds Platoon and Donut under the turret. And they grab the kill here. First one goes to Wise, but he falls to the turret as he goes down. Platoon surviving oh. here just barely. Now he got away. Donut fell to that. The end, it was the right there at the tip of the Numenon Blast that landed onto Platoon. Donut, though, was able to walk away with a kill onto Wise uh, with the help of the turret as well. Could have been worse for the yeah. two members of NXPE. Yeah, and if Oh My Venus had the flicker there, it could have been a two man Numenon yeah. blast. Then again, you can't have all of the things in the world. They already have three championships. The least that they could do <laughs> is not have that flicker in that place specifically. So right now, Wise is looking for Renegade and they go for it. Okay, he's going to get crashed down here. Renegade, four people all over him as he falls. And they're here too late, but Toot joining the party, gets the Mystic Field off. Kazen trying to get a position, forces oh. the flicker. Dawning Light comes in. Haji pulls two in. Numenon Blast Woo. to follow up. The killing spree for Haji as another one falls, going to the hands of Edward. Blacklist International punishing the positioning here from NXPE. Haji. Donut still wants some more here. He's trying to get the crossbow of Tang. Can't get it off. Couldn't get the crossbow tag off right there in the end to secure the kill onto Edward, if I'm not mistaken. But it was Haji opening up that sequence for Blacklist International. You thought Blacklist, NXP thought Blacklist were done there, that they were going to back off. Nope. Haji committing the Shadow Stampede and then committing the Flicker oh. to make sure that he gets those pullbacks. What a play by Haji. Yeah, setting up the Numenon Blast quite perfectly. Blacklist International, you could feel the synergy. You could feel their chemistry in this game. And this is the World Championship winning lineup. There's a reason as to why they're the thrice crowned royalties of Mobile Legends, Bang Bang. They will be starting this turtle at XBE. And who knows, they might be able to secure this away from Blacklist International. That's gonna be the best case scenario for them. They're in great position for it. Wise also making his way here. But they trying to do his best as well. Turtle gonna be less than half health here. Donut, Donut. trying to get the procs off, but oh. the turtle secured by Wise, and they pull off here. But Toot gonna be focused on, gets out. Dawning Light committed. Oh, cool. Cold Alder, look wow. at the field. Locking down all the members of Black International, just disengaging here, but they lose the turtle. Another retribution secure for uh, for Weiss, and I think the stats speak for itself. Yeah. Weiss is currently ranked number one with all the objectives secured in the league right now. Blacklist International is looking for more. Seal play coming out, but two could be focused on. He has nowhere Ooh. to run as he falls under the turret. Look at Kazen. Here comes Kazen looking for the perfect triple sweep. If he can get a position, goes in with a flicker. Not enough damage, though. Taking quite a bit himself. Renegade, dawning light, Haji. finding Oh My Venus. Haji. As he fall, Haji still alive. But Wise grabbing the kill in the jungle. Looking for and more. true assassin for more. goes for Renegade. The hitman's in trouble. And he's still alive for now, oh. but not long enough as Haji grabs the kill. A lot of kills going to the hands of Blacklist International. But what play sparked it, Renegade? Mar. Oh man, Blacklist, it was the fact that NXPE just left Lancey alone in the back with Wise, but here comes Donut with that ultimate last the crossbow of Tang. Edward falls. NXPE, I know they're looking for victories. I know they're looking for kills. They were able to kill him, get a kill to Oh My Venus. 
but they really have to watch out for the positioning of Wise and where Lancey is. Yeah. This savior is such an integral part of their lineup, of their ability to team fight and take skirmishes. They need to keep that savior safe and alive. Yeah, 20 seconds from now, the Lord will be spawning, but oh my Venus is looking for a fight in the top side. Haji going in for Batut. Can they actually catch the dog? Okay, they can't catch him here. So you thought they would actually make a move there. Then the flickers are down as well. So they're not going to actually overcommit there. Red and Jay trying to get a position. Lord going to be up. Conceal comes out. Dawning Light spotting a few out. Edward goes in on Red and Jay, forcing him back here. No one wants to commit just oh, yet. But wow. Oh, it's all Ebb that goes down. He falls. They're down their gold later here. This is a crucial pickoff. The Lord is already up and Oeb is gone. Oeb tried to go for a dive under the tower up against Donut and K Zen. He was able to use the BMI, but right before the BMI was committed so he could get out of there, the basic attack of Donut was already locked in. They still gonna watch out for a wise. Numina Blast charging up. Renjay gonna wow. get caught out here. He falls in quick fashion. And now Batut gonna be the, taking the brunt of the damage. Lord is still gonna be about half health. Look at Wise. Look at for Kazin. Oh, Kazin oh. gets the triple sweep off. Takes out Wise, and that's gonna be the Lord in favor of NXPE. Look at Donut. The top Donut. Side. Donut. Donut. Grab and win with a crossbow of Tang. Can they follow up on this? Batute falls, and they're gonna have to recall here. But what a play from NXPE. They secure the first Lord of the game, and this is crucial for NXP. In fact, so crucial that that drops the lead to just 1,000 on the side of Black Cassette International. Heart and skill right now by NXP to hold on, holding on to the idea that they can force a game number three, making the right cause in the situation. Renegade had to sacrifice himself yet again, 0-6-1, but it was the right call for that moment. With the Lord in their hands, this won't be a damage push but this could be a push that they can use to get more room in the map to get more space in the map and to most importantly keep hope alive for NXPE space time and hope that's what NXPE needs and they are buying it right now with this siege they want to secure almost all the turrets the first tier turrets to get more map control to get more control over the next big objective which is the luminous Lord Man, okay so again we're at a crucial moment for NXBE because they're doing an amazing job up to this point, right? They've slowly whittled down that gold lead. And at the same time, Donut is performing out of his mind. I mean, even if you look back at game one, uh -huh. Donut was technically he did the best he could with the given situation in game one. He was making plays even given the situation. Now in this game, he's able to shine a lot more and it's weird because if you look at Ren and Jay's KDA right now, yeah, you, you mentioned it, Renmar. It, it's it's pretty bad, but the what he's doing mm -hmm. is what's working. It's it's actually working so well for the team. And I'm wondering too, is this an effective Batut Paquito Rome? It is. I have to say that somewhat somehow it's something that keeps Weiss out of uh, the team fight for like a few seconds. And yeah. sometimes those few seconds count. But well, Renmar, what do you think about this uh, uh, Batut, Rome, Paquito, honest thoughts? You don't have to hold that. Yeah, no, it, it, it could be even more damaging if they can just really blend it well with the Savior. The Savior and that Paquito can, together can, be doing a, can do a lot of damage. So far, we've been seeing uh, the individual members of NXPE doing what they can. Uh, to win certain fights, make the right decisions individually. But once you they get to blend it all together and then just combine all of that nice layering on top of one another in a nice group effort, it would be such a big victory for NXP if they could pull that off. We're back here 12 minutes in in Blacklist International from I think around a 5,000 gold lead dropping down to just 600 NXPE. Again with that great Lord fight and Lord take. They're trying to secure a game number three here. The Blacklist, they find Renegade. Seal play coming in. The turret's going to go down here. Donut takes quite a bit of damage. Falling Star Moon going to be committed. So they're just happy with the turret. They're going to back off for now. Yeah, and with that, the game is now dead even. And this is very important for NXP. Let's go back to game number one. They had to keep that close. And the same goes here for game number two. And they're now being the aggressors with Renegade in front lines. Renegade. I mean, uh, there was a tweet earlier by 
um, Coach Ducky. So to sum it up, it's the idea that sometimes the KDA just really doesn't show what's happening on the screen. But right now, there's a big play in the mid. Oh, the queen oh, takes the front of the damage. Don't on the backside, but look at the backside, the middle here of NXPE. They're falling as Wise gets the double kill. Renegade takes out Oh My Venus, but at what cost? Donut still alive. Renegade. They lose a massive fight in the mid lane. Again, Blacklist International respecting what the Paquito and what the, especially the Savior can do to their lineup. The moment they saw just a small window of opening, and this is classic Blacklist International. We've been seeing it as well with teams such as Onyx, uh, Onyx, RSG, and Omega. Just a small window of opportunity, even though it doesn't look like it's a good idea to call for the play. Blacklist says, no, this is the perfect time to call for a play. They got three key targets down. They got the jungler, the roamer, and the mid laner down. NXP really need to watch their formations. This revolves around their 1-1 one -one and their savior to be alive, to be free, and to be safe. Lancy needs to watch his positioning, but it's going to be so hard considering that when can you expect Wise to go out? When do you position yourself away from that Claude? And when do you start a fight and this might just be it? Okay, they go in with a concealed play. And they spot out members of Blackness International. Renegade goes into the backside. But so far, push and pull. Look at Wise getting set up once again here. Looking for the target, whether it's Lancy or Kazin. Brennan J still getting poked down here. Dawning Light going to be committed along with the Falling Star Moon. And just a push and pull. It's a respect coming out from Black Star National. Yeah. yeah. And not just respect, they also knew that Wise is in the back line and they couldn't start that fight without the spotting where Wise is. So that's discipline coming in from NXPE. Yes. As exactly. they still go around this purple buff. Yeah, there are probably people wondering why didn't NXPE commit that? They had no inf information where the Natalia was. They were looking for that Natalia, and they know they really had to take care of Lancy and Donut here. Yeah, I mean, we can already see the positioning of Donut as well. Very, playing very far away. Letting the work be uh -oh. done. Newman on the last comes in with a flicker. They oh, Donut! Donut! Can he survive this? Yes, it's going to be bought there. Looking for a moment. Blazing Duet follows up. Crossbow of Tang, though. Here's the reset. It's not going to be enough. Kazen goes down. Killing spree for not Donut. Too. The double kill. Finds him time. We look at the back. International down oh, and yep. Renegade looking for Oheb. Haji's Donut alive. He's gonna cut him off. Donut Can he is. grab it? Oh. He gets him. It's a three for three trade. What a scrap. What a fight. No single team getting that massive win. It ended up in a stalemate. Both teams showing the conditions of their lineup. And it's be as long as that 1-1 one, one and Lance uh, and that Savior stays alive. They have hope to fight it out. Blacklist International knowing that with their cult altar, with a great positioning by Wise, the damage that Edward and Oheb can dish out. Hitman with the stuff. We know that Renna J was notorious back then with plays just like this. Not even ashamed with a 1-6-5. You know, that's just the KDA. What matters right now is we finally have the game in dead even. I'm Renna J, I'm the Hitman, and I'm gonna secure this game. Sheer confidence from a veteran like Renna J. Let's see if he could back it up with a Lord secure. Well, they're gonna look to get in position to take this one. Meanwhile, Oh My Venus is waiting here. Wise gonna look to get in on the backside once again. Lord Less than half health here. Looking for initiation. It's gonna be secured oh! by Wise. And now NXP is falling apart here in the jungle. Oh him looking for another kill here. Wise grabs Platoon. Okay, he's got it. Platoon goes down. And member after member falls. Yes! it still alive though. But Blacklist International coming out huge. And just like that, after a very confident recall from Renegade, J, NXPE pays the prize with a Luminous Lord, and now they gotta defend. It is 2v4, and this might be massive. Oh man, can they defend seconds away for the rest of the members to come up? Minions Where? now marching down mid. Where did Lancey send that dawning light? It looked like it went to the bottom lane, but it looks like they need to hear the mid. Oh, KZ! And the triple oh. flip comes out, but it's not going to be the stun. Blacklist International taking the series here in a sweep. And we can hear the crowd.
going to break the code as Blacklist International secures another sweep, another three points, and NXPE is forced to face reality. Still in the bottom seats of MPLS 10. This is quite the reality that they have to face.